A few months ago, at the Game Awards, when Matthew McConaughey came onto stage and revealed that he was going to voice a character in a game, I thought nothing of it. Nothing against him personally, I just don't particularly care much about the presence of celebrity actors in games. When I saw the trailer for the game, I thought it looked decent enough, but I soon forgot about it and moved on. It's only been in recent weeks, upon proper investigation, that I realized that I had made a mistake. I still don't care much that Matthew McConaughey is in the game, but I do care about who was making the game, and upon watching the extended trailer and realizing just who was making the game, my eyes lit up as if some great revelation had been visited upon me. Looking at their bios, their website, and more, it was clear to me that this was not just another science fiction game. This was the old guard of Bioware's golden age, sent forward in time and resurrected with none of the constraints that had been foisted upon them under the corporate aegis of EA. And it's for this reason that I first want to take the time in this video to let you know about a forthcoming game that may have flown under your radar, and I'm convinced that it's almost certainly the definitive spiritual successor to the Mass Effect series, and I can confidently predict it will deliver in most of the ways that Bioware has failed to do so over the last 10 years. In fact, I strongly suspect it could even exceed Mass Effect's quality. This game is called Exodus, and I think it will be very special. Bold and wild claims, you say? Absolutely. For in these dark times, we can rightly expect very little from games, especially those of the AAA variety with the exceptions among the detritus only confirming the rule, but I can tell you with confidence that this will be one of the exceptions. And why can I tell you this? Well, quite simply, because of evidence. Good quality evidence. If you know anything about me, then you'd know I'm not one to hype a game for no reason, so I want to present my reasons to you. You see, the studio making Exodus is called Archetype Entertainment, and it's headed by old-school Bioware veterans, the old guard that left Bioware when they saw the writing on the wall, and we all know what Bioware has become. The key to this game, and the future of all RPGs made by Archetype Entertainment, is one man named James Olin. James Olin is an industry veteran with more than 20 years of experience, including, but not limited to positions as the designer of the original Baldur's Gate games, Neverwinter Nights, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars The Old Republic, Dragon Age Origins, as well as important work for the original Mass Effect and Jade Empire. On top of that, he has written pen and paper modules for 5th edition, such as Chains of Asmodeus and Odyssey of the Dragon Lords, and has his own tabletop publishing company called Arcanum Worlds. James had originally planned to leave the gaming industry behind entirely but was approached by Wizards of the Coast to found a new studio. Olin had repeatedly refused multiple offers made to him by several other game companies that frankly would have been very lucrative for him because he had grown weary of what the gaming industry had become, but ultimately decided to work with Wizards of the Coast under the important and exceptional condition that they be completely hands-off and allow him the freedom to do whatever is necessary for the sake of the games he is passionate about specifically projects that he had a personal connection to of the kind he used to work on at Bioware, all without interference from so-called higher-ups. Quote, My demands were, I only do this if I get to start my own studio in Austin, I get to choose who I hire, I get to choose exactly the kind of IP I want to make, no one's going to tell me anything about how to make the game. End quote. Bioware veteran Chad Robertson also joined later on, who himself has worked on numerous titles during Bioware's golden age, and perhaps most importantly, beyond James Olin, sometime later, Drew Karpershin, best known for his writing in the first two Mass Effects, as well as other Bioware titles, joined as well, making the following statement, quote, When I started at Bioware, everything was fresh and exciting. It was a dream job. Talented people, working together to create epic games like Baldur's Gate, KOTOR, Mass Effect, and Dragon Age. But as we grew and became more successful, things changed. We became more corporate, 
we were less able to make what we loved, and the teams were pushed to create games based on market research rather than our creative instincts and passions. My dream job became just a job, and I lost the enthusiasm and excitement I once had. But with Archetype, my passion has been rekindled. The feel in the studio reminds me of my early days at BioWare. I can feel the magic in the air. I know we have big shoes to fill. With BioWare, I was part of a legacy that will endure forever. We created some of the most beloved CRPGs of the past two decades, but I truly believe at Archetype, we have the talent and the opportunity to do something just as amazing." End quote. Admittedly, it's a bit of a long quote, but it really captures the reasons why Exodus has so much promise. In addition to all of that, the studio has been recruiting other people who've defected from the industry from such formerly great studios as 343 Studios, best known for their work on the Halo series, Naughty Dog, known for Uncharted, The Last of Us, as well as veterans from other well-known studios. Finally, the mission statement of the studio reads, create the greatest science fiction role-playing games in the world. We are committed to creating the next generation of narrative-driven role-playing games. Our approach marries world-class storytelling with emotional impact, broader player agency, and modern AAA gameplay to deliver a next-gen experience for role-playing gamers. Now, I've mounted all of this as evidence to prove the bona fides of the makers of this game. We have to remember that the key to making good games is, in fact, the individual talent developing the games. Names of studios stay, but people leave. Today's Bioware might be called Bioware, but all the people that mattered and made the games that people came to love have long gone and some of the best of them are now at Archetype Entertainment. Why is this relevant? Simple, because you need the people who can make good games, and they are at Archetype Entertainment now, and they have a proven track record. These are passionate people who want to make art and tell stories, and they've been given the freedom to work on the game the way they want to, and that is essential. The only other studio currently that we know of with certainty that has that kind of freedom is Larian Studios, who I've heard have quite recently made quite a decent game themselves. Okay, now you know who you're dealing with, so now you might understand why this is a big deal. We all miss Mass Effect, as while deeply flawed in many ways, no other series has ever done what it did in the gaming world, and its legacy is undisputed in this regard, as perhaps the greatest space opera of all time. The combination of compelling lore and story with companions such as Garrus, Rex, and Liara made for an unforgettable experience. Whilst it's true that Mass Effect 3 had many, many issues, all the people that had worked on 1 and 2 had largely left by then. Since then, people have been craving a similar epic science fiction RPG, and many people have made the claim that this or that title is going to be the next Mass Effect. But thus far, nothing has delivered on these hopes that we've had now for well over a decade. Exodus is different. I even have an acquaintance that was concerned that Exodus seems too much like Mass Effect for him. And whilst I can understand his concerns, I would simply say this. Bring it on. I want more Mass Effect. In fact, I actually believe this will be better than Mass Effect. Here's why. Not only are some of the best people from Bioware's golden age on the team, led, of course, by the legend James Olsen himself, but they now have that much more experience under their belts compared to back then, and have done other things over the last 20 years. And finally, based on Olsen's statements, Archetype's team has complete freedom to make the game exactly the way they want. This is a good reason to believe that Exodus may surpass Mass Effect in terms of its quality. Let's be honest. The current Bioware might still make a Mass Effect game, but we all know that it will be a shell of its former self. If we RPG gamers want to support proper, narrative-driven RPGs, we need to put our money where our mouth is and support the studios that are actually capable of delivering that experience to us. Current day Bioware is simply not that studio and has not been for a while. Archetype Entertainment is that studio. Now I'm planning on making a separate video for the story and plot where I'll cover everything in detail that we know about the game thus far. But for now, 
let's talk about the basics of the game. The major mechanism that drives the plot of Exodus is time dilation, which occurs when light speed is achieved, allowing for huge differences in the passage of time between those who travel at these speeds and those left behind, which has massive consequences for the story, leading to vastly different outcomes on your journey and provides for large branching possibilities as the plot unfolds. You play June, a so-called traveler, an exiled leader of a planet that makes use of interstellar travel gates that allow for lightspeed travel in an effort to recover alien technology to save humanity from a powerful threat, the Celestials, diverse alien species that seek to destroy you and end your mission forever. But worry not, these are just the basics as I will be taking a very deep dive into everything about this game in a later video. I would strongly recommend that you check out both trailers for the game, as well as Archetype Entertainment's website and their YouTube channel, all of which will be posted in the description. I am firmly convinced that this could be something even better than Mass Effect, and I plan on covering this game extensively as more and more information is revealed, and certainly even more so when the game has actually come out. I think we can look forward to some very cool things from Archetype Entertainment, and I firmly believe this is only the beginning. Finally, I think it's too rare that studios like Archetype exist, so we as RPG gamers need to do everything we can to support them, just like Larian. Spread the word about Archetype Entertainment and Exodus to the far corners of the world and the internet, as their success is your satisfaction in the games you play made by them. If you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe. Be much appreciated, and I'll check you out next time.